friends, welcome back to Honest Stamp Page. It is time for another five minutes in Photoshop on Friday. And this month we are sponsored, or rather I am sponsored, by the amazing Rachel Vass of Rachel Vass Designs. She has this gorgeous Etsy shop. She has so many beautiful floral um, sets and backgrounds that she's created. And you can go in and see all of the amazing card inspiration too. And they're just so gorgeous. She has given all of you a 20% off discount code and that is down in the description box. So let's get into our five minute tutorial for today. Today I'm using this amazing succulent background stamp set and we are going to do split negative in digital. So split negative basically means that you have um, your image and one side might be white on black and the other side is black on white. So I'm going to show you how to do that digitally. So I've got this beautiful succulent background up and I'm going to start a new panel and I'm going to make it four by four because I'm going to make it for a smaller card than an A2 and I'm going to take my image and I'm actually going to drag from over here down in the bottom and I'm going to drag my layer over here and then I'm going to minimize this for a second. Now as you can see this is huge. Her sets are such high quality they can be used and resized for almost anything and I think that's amazing. I love when I'm able to do that with different sets. So I'm going to actually start by resizing this. I like to have my bounding boxes. That's this thing around here that has the little um, squares to show me exactly where it's at. So I can see that right here, it's right in the middle. Right here, it's right in the middle. So this is perfectly centered, okay? So this is gonna be my first layer that has the black on white. And we're going to start a new layer now. And this one is going to be half the size of our current one. So I can either do it vertically or horizontally. This time I'm going to do it vertically. So I'm going to half my width and make it two by four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drag this layer over to here. And I am going to have to make sure that again, it is right where I need it to be. And this is going to be exactly half. Okay. So I'm going to go back here and click on background and click a new layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that new layer in with black. Now the image is going to disappear for a second, but it's okay. So I've got complete blackness. What I have to do is go to this first layer that's on top. As you can see, this is the bottom. Anything that's up further on the list is on top and I'm going to double left click that and I'm going to do a color overlay. And as you can see down here, it's already starting to change. I'm going to revert it to white. And now I have my split negative of my white with black. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this as background black white. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to keep this to show you different colors with, but when I open this back up, this PNG is going to be able to be moved into here as one piece and I can perfectly match it up again by making sure everything is one half, one half, one half. And now I've created a split negative in Photoshop. Now, what if you decide you want to do different colors? Like what if you want this to be a red background and you want this line to be red? That's super easy to remedy. So when you're in your original one, let's get rid of this one that we just did. What you're going to do is you're going to make your layer have a color overlay. So here I've got my red now. And actually, since these are succulents, let's do a different color. Let's do a green. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna choose one of my favorite greens to work with, which is hexachrome green. So I've got my green here. Then I'm gonna go over into my working Photoshop thing over here and I'm gonna click on the layer 
and I'm going to do a color overlay there, go in and change that to hexachrome green. And then I'll save this, and then I'm going to make this green. And you can make it a JPEG or a PNG. It honestly doesn't matter. Open that up, bring my green out, my PNG, pull it over, and now this time I want it there because that's the way I had it done. Scoot this around a little bit, and now I have it green. So you can do whatever you want. You could even go in here and say, okay, I want this. Let's do 319, let's see how that looks. I always make note of what number is. Oh yeah, 319, because I'm gonna need it when I come over here and do 319, okay? So over here, what's gonna have to happen is, I'm gonna have to make this layer, instead of it being white, I need it to be that 319 with the green is already there. And then I'm gonna save this as green turquoise, green turk is what I'm gonna call it. Open that back up, grab that. And now I've done two different colors. So you can do it in two different colors in, instead of just black and white or white or black in another color, which I absolutely love. So that is my five minute in Photoshop tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stop by Rachel Vass Designs, grab some goodies, and I will share with you my card that I finished creating with this beautiful succulent background set here at the end of the video. Until next time, hugs and happy stamping friends. Bye.